Hi everyone, in this video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step how to download and set up the California DMV wallet app on your smartphone. Let's get started. First, you'll need to download the California DMV wallet app by searching CA DMV wallet in the App Store or Google Play Store. I'm shooting this video with my real information, sensitive information, so I have to blur them out. Hope you're okay with that. Once you have downloaded the app, open it up. No notifications for me. Okay to secure authentication. I assume you're at home, so select I want to enroll remotely. Next, tap create an account. If you already have a MyNDMV account, then you should just log in and jump to the time of 2 minutes and 12 seconds of this video. For an account registration, you would need an email and enter your email and re-enter your email. Once done, they will email you for a confirmation. Go to that email and select confirm my email. Enter your real first name, last name, and your phone number. And I would want to receive code via text SMS. Scroll down to agree to conditions and continue. You will then receive a verification code. Next, enter in that code. Here in the last step, you are required to create a password. Enter the password that you want and select continue. For this iPhone, I will save the password. And finally, the account has been created. Continuing on, open up the app. Select I want to enroll remotely. Enter the email and password of the account you just created. Then you'll be brought here to enter your California driver license or ID number. It knows your phone number from the account you created. Next, you have to enter your remain sensitive information. So enter your California driver license number or ID number and select receive code via text again and enter your date of birth and the last four digit of your social security number. Agree and continue. Redundantly, select text me and continue. Enter another verification code that you just got and you'll be brought here to go through two validation steps. One is to scan your driver license or ID card. Another is to verify your identity. Then select continue. You should now bring out your driver license or ID card. You could read through while scrolling down to the bottom to select start. Select start and allow the app to access your camera. Take the pictures of the front and the back of the card. Everything is in slow-mo and blurry because of my sensitive information. Front and the back. You'll then be brought here to verify your identity. You'll see all the sensitive information and the scan images of your card. Head next to start the process of scanning your face with the front-facing camera using light background if you can. Once you head start, You'll be told it will flash a series of colored lights as it scans your face. Hit continue. This process will capture your photo for review. Authenticating. Connecting. Follow the instructions you see on the screen. Confirming identity. Accessing genuine presence. Validating and success. Head next. You'll see your scanned face. Mine is horrible. Continue with next. It will go through processing your data. Then you see this message credential requested. Head back to actions. You then see the activity log. You could tap the processing tab. On the bottom, do you want to try provisioning anyway? 
Whether or not you should try provisioning anyway depends on your specific needs. If you need to use the mobile driver license or ID immediately, then you should not try provisioning it yet. However, if you can wait for 24 to 72 business hours, then you may want to try provisioning it anyway. There is a good chance that the request will be approved before the 72-hour review period is over. For me, I closed the app or exited by flickering it up and come back into the app within 5 minutes. And I got the processing approved. Tap the approved it tab and accept the request to accept the mobile driver license or ID. Then you'll see California DMV wants to send you mobile driver license credential to you. Hit accept. There you go. Finally, mobile driver license created. Head back home to see everything. Besides show my mobile driver license tab, you can see on the bottom you have home, wallet, activity log, and profile that you can look into. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching.